hi guys this is Lily Alicia welcome back to my channel in this video I will be showing you guys how to do an acrylic infill um, as you guys can see it's been about two weeks since I've had those nails and it's really time for a change um, I will be my doodle design will be about breast cancer awareness so yeah those nails that I'm showing you right there they did come off so I will be gluing them back on and redoing them to what I will be using to take my polish off is this drill that you guys commented about I will be doing a review on that so stay tuned for that video um, I will be alternating between that drill and this one that I'm showing you right there or if you don't have a drill you guys can just use a regular old nail file it works just as good and I will be showing you guys how to do that in the next clip so stay tuned okay so as you guys can see I am using the drill to take off the polish now you don't want to have the drill on a very high speed because if you do have it on a high speed and you apply a little bit of pressure you're gonna feel a burning sensation in your nail and you don't that's not a very pleasant feeling so just have it on a medium to low um, speed Okay, so right here I am reshaping the nail just to make it look a little bit sharper than it was before you know when after you've had your nails on for two weeks it won't be as sharp it'll start to dull out so I'm just like you know reshaping it right here okay, so here I am filing off the part that is lifting you know after two weeks your nails does start to lift a little bit so I don't want that to show up in my um, my new set when I do apply the or do the infill so I'm just taking that off after I filed and reshaped the nail I like to go in with my alcohol and just dust off any of the excess dust and then I would like to go in with my cuticle pusher that you will see and just go ahead and push back my cuticles okay so I like to go in with this little drill bit by the cuticle area just to make sure I get off all of that dead skin just making sure that that area is nice and clear for acrylic application Now I'm going in with my dehydrator and my primer just to dehydrate and prime the natural nail before you apply your acrylic. And here now you want to apply the acrylic making sure that you don't touch the cuticle but for some reason you know I always touch a cuticle but that's okay you can just Clean it up with your brush and I apply a second bead just to balance out and make it nice and even and smooth. And there I am cleaning it up making sure that it's not touching the side walls. Okay what you want to do next is you want to take your drill and you want to file the uh, the cuticle area making sure that it is flush to the natural nail and as you guys can see I did switch drill bits this one I am using just to file off the excess acrylic making sure that it is smooth a nice smooth surface This is my first voiceover by the way, so please, please, please bear with me. If you have any tips, um, please feel free to comment below, but please no negative comments. Please, no negative comments. After you've filed and shaped your nails, they should look a little something like this. The polish that I will be using is Essie and the colour is Moochie Moochie and I will be applying three coats 
Now I have not mastered the way how you're supposed to apply polish so you want to always keep acetone and a brush to clean up. Probably could have gotten away with two coats but I just wanted to be sure. I don't like it to be spotty. I want it all of the nail to be covered, nice even coverage of polish. I wanted to try this top coat that I got from Sally's. It was I think $6. I'm not really sure. Um, it's supposed to dry in about 60 seconds, but I would say that it probably dried a little bit faster than that. So I think this will be my new top coat. I will be using these little Swarovski crystals that I got from my local beauty supply. It's very inexpensive and it shines just like the real ones, I guess. I will be using the Kiss Brush on Glue this dotting tool to pick up the crystals and this tweezer to pick up the bigger ones now I did say that this is a breast cancer awareness design so the pink ones obviously are for the bow so I did start in I think the middle of my nail and I just did like a little oval or circle I guess you can call it and I just made the shape of the bow with the glue just for like a little guide to where to put the arm um, the crystals. Okay, so now I'm just taking the silver or clear crystals and I'm just filling in the rest of the nail with those crystals. And that is the finished product you guys I hope you guys liked this video um, for breast cancer awareness you guys definitely all the women out there please get yourself checked out you never know what can be in there so please please get yourself checked out don't forget to like comment and subscribe 
thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video hugs and kisses